Many people have asked me, why do I care so much about World War I? I have to admit that I first noticed the plaque that exists at Cary Hall peripherally as I went to concerts and other exhibitions. The plaque shows eight names of people that uh, died as a result of World War I, dated 1914 to 1918. As many people have passed this plaque, uh, you say, okay, and then you kind of forget it. But last year, when the, we had a 100th anniversary of America's entrance into World War I, I really started being interested in it. And upon my close examination, I found that there was a drawer in it underneath the plaque. And in the drawer, after I got permission from the town, I found a beautiful scroll, neatly rolled up and lists 373 Lexingtonians who went to war to Paris at that time. Uh, many names are common. Cataldo, Harrington, Buckman, Worthen, names that you see today on schools, businesses, streets uh, signs. But these were real names of people who actually participated and uh, gave up some of them their lives to serve the country. After I saw this, I thought that it's time that we Lexingtonians try to remember our past. It was in very interesting but very supportive as I started to organize a group of people at first, there was maybe like five people, and then different organizations started to join. By today, at the end, we have 25 people who are participating in organizing uh, plans for World War I celebration. I say celebration, but it's really more of a commemoration because you don't celebrate uh, wars. What you do is you remember and commemorate and you do celebrate that it's the end of the war, and that is what we're doing. We hope to be able to start uh, with lectures, a, uh, a gala, uh, electing historical society gala is organizing it. Uh, then we will have another social event uh, on November 9th. The Lexington Symphony will play pieces from World War I, and then on November 11th, at 11 o'clock, I hope that the churches uh, will ring the bells like they did 100 years ago to commemorate the end of the war. And then we will have a parade. Now, the parade will be very interesting because we're trying to collect as many descendants from those 373. The Grand Marshal uh, of the parade is our own young Shirley Stoltz who will be riding in a makeup ambulance as her uh, nephew Stanley Hill did in uh, France. And it will be followed by a group of uh, descendants. Some of them will have to ride in a bus uh, because they're so young. Others might march in the parade. And the parade will go and circle the green where plaques are on the green showing the names of the fallen eight. Um, and then the parade will end and festivities will begin at uh, Cary Hall. Cary Hall will be full of displays, uh, uh, memorabilia. Uh, we will have high school participants uh, who have written essays on the subject. Um, Sam Dorn will give a presentation on the history of World War I in Lexington, uh, and we'll have some song and dance, and finally a panel discussion, uh, which will bring in experts to talk about World War I and its impact.